Hello everyone, it is Toby from Toby's Urban Sketch and thank you for joining me. This is a video all about um, sketching watercolour people and essentially how much you can get across with you know very little detail and just having a bit of fun and just showing how loose watercolour figures can really be and how easy they can be to paint. So, thank you very much for joining me. Um, today we are going to be sketching those little people and I'm just using a, a simple sort of pointed quill brush and just a range of colours and I'll, I'll tell you as I use them which colours I'm aiming for. So, this first person, I'm using a little bit of carmine and a little bit of fallow blue and all I'm doing is is grabbing the big shapes of a, of a person. I'm not using any particular reference here but just getting the big, the basic flavour of a person if you like and letting those colours wash and mingle in between each other. We have to go at a different person and we can build it up in different ways. I like to start when I'm doing watercolour figures like this I normally like to start with the head. Sometimes we can keep the head separate from the rest of the body. Sometimes we can join it up like on the first one but varying those colours, popping little different colours. So I've moved here from a phthalo blue into a quinacridone gold and just letting those these colours mingle can be really fun. Um, often just turning legs into these kind of stick legs um, is a really effective way of sketching people and it works for children as well so the, the idea of this tiny figure is that it's a, a little chappy um, next to his mum perhaps and it's just really about loosening up and picking only a couple of little details. So, for example, here, I hope you get the impression on this figure of someone facing away with a big coat on. And I did that by just, you capture their little head, you capture their collar with a, the line below, and then you just capture the shape of their shoulders. And everything down from that just sort of flows. It's like a, a carrot figure, but with a, a tiny bit more, tiny little bit more detail. Decided, of course, here to give this person a a uh, umbrella as well and really watercolour figures can be that simple if you want to sketch an arm you can just do it like here you can do it in front of the body so just leave a gap in the body you don't need to uh, be really neat or clever about it and you can change colours for the legs for the arms to suggest different colours of trousers and things um, you can add in little details suggesting hair as well what I'd suggest um, is instead of trying to get the exact colours, um, you just take sort of prompts from what you're seeing. So if someone's got a bright red t-shirt, sure, a nice bright t-shirt, but then you don't need to do their exact colour of red, or you don't need to follow through with their exact colour of trousers. Um, the other thing that you can do is just choose colours which mesh or even contrast really well with the image in front of you. So that's what kind of thing I've been doing here as well as choosing these bright colours. A really important part of drawing people is getting those shadows underneath them, joining them up to the ground so they're not just floating. And as much as one layer of colour can be very effective, often just coming back in with some darker, higher value, different tones of colour, just to add a couple of details, like adding that umbrella, adding a a waistband or, or or similar can be a really nice extra touch. Next couple of people are even further from uh, you know normal human proportions, if you like. Much longer legs, um, funny long arms, but they're quite effective, I think at least. Um, and in the context of a whole drawing, of a stylistic drawing of a lovely watercolour sketch actually popping in these sort of ghosted uh, slightly odd figures but with very recognisable as human or humanoid I think is is plenty enough. This kind of exercise as well in and of itself is quite fun so literally just filling a few pages of the sketchbook 
and just sketching in colors trying different shapes of people trying you know you, these people are obviously i hope obviously either standing or a few of them sort of walking along the street but you could do other poses you could have people sat down you could have people walking their dog and have a little sketch of their dog and you know dogs animals very similar ideas as well all i'm doing is just playing with different colors seeing how my colors work seeing how slightly different shapes of people work here's an example of just popping in um someone in a longer dress and giving them a little handbag as well and you, all you do again just like when I sketched in the arm on on the left hand page just leave a little gap in the body um, and then you can pop in nice and simply um, a little accoutrement a little bag or a phone or whatever it is they're carrying and there you go we're back to the beginning this has been a nice little hopefully relaxing five minutes just giving you some ideas on how you might um, start to sketch in paint little watercolour figures which are maybe one step up from a, a carrot figure. Thanks for watching.